Hey guys, I'm so excited to show you my Minecraft base. I've got all my Minecraft houses. I chose wood just because that was the most available, but I want to upgrade them to stone eventually. But I got to go mine some more resources. So let's get to that. Hey YouTube! So today I've decided to come to Seorosari, the kind of open air museum of Helsinki. Part of the reason I chose to come here is because on this day four years ago, I came here. <laughs> I remember it was April Fools. I did a prank on my students. I filmed it and then I came out here and just kind of goofed around. And so I thought I would come back, revisit. It's been a while since I've been here. Tell you a little bit about Seorosari. And then also at the end of the video, I want to ask you guys a couple questions about my Patreon, which I just launched yesterday. And thank you, I've already got a couple patrons signed up. That's, that means a lot to me, I really appreciate that. And I have some questions at the end uh, to get your feedback on in terms of like what products or what price. So if you want to stick around for that and give me some feedback, I'd appreciate you guys helping me out. All right, let's go check it out. Just don't even ask about whatever that was. It is quite windy today, so I apologize for the audio, but I wanted to tell you guys a few fun facts about Seorosari. The first is that the name Seorosari means something like folk island or society island. And the original, or I guess the oldest name, comes from some Swedish maps. And in Swedish, the translation would be foal island, so like a young horse. It may be the case that there were young horses here, but then in the early 1900s, when the island was converted into an open air museum for a lot of Finland's old folk buildings to be transported and preserved here, the island name then, I guess, perhaps, I'm not a linguist or an expert on this, but perhaps the full island was translated, or people maybe thought it, what is it? People just thought that the original word in Swedish was folk island as well. So it probably was due to a misconception there. And that was a very long-winded way of just explaining that the name means folk island. And young horses, full to folk, I don't know. A second fun fact about Seorosari, which I kind of already gave away in explaining the meaning of the name, is that there are lots of cool buildings here. Uh, historic, like, old cabins. I'll get some b-roll of that and show that on the screen. Um, but yeah, they come from all around Finland. And in the summer, uh, starting in May, the, the museum society here gives guided tours. So you're free to come and just walk around on the island, but if you want to get one of those guided tours, you can sign up for one of those. I don't know why I'm like promoting the museum activities. <laughs> Not a sponsor. But I think it's really cool that in the early 1900s, people thought uh, that those buildings were important enough to preserve. And I'm glad that they did because it's made for a really uh, beautiful retreat, island retreat within Helsinki. The museum was started in 1909. So, do with that knowledge what you will. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just the purveyor, okay? Mm -hmm. 
So a third fun fact about Siorosari is that it is home to one of the few nude beaches of Finland. I think there are three and Helsinki is two of them. One of them is here. I'm not sure if this beach is the one that's nude. Um, and if you're just wondering what that means, here, allow me to demonstrate for you. Just kidding, just kidding. That's on a different account, all right? No, just <laughs> that's my private account. Sometimes the humor just gets a little too edgy, just a little too much. What am I doing with my life? Hey guys, you're not gonna believe what I just found. For old school fans, that looks like a lot of fiber to me. A lot of fiber. You know, I might have even started the fiber joke in that vlog. As I was walking towards Sarasati, I stopped in one of the little areas, found a, a tree where fiber comes from, obviously. What is this? This building is terrifying. Also, I'm making a spectacle. Time to, time to run from society. <laughs> the, the appropriate Finnish response. Another reason that I love Seorosari is that I came here on the third day after starting my channel. And I remember in that time, I had no idea what I was doing but I really had this vision of starting making vlogs and, and doing all of that. And I remember just that, that vlog came together in such a way, it was so creatively satisfying when I made it, that still to this day, that's probably my favorite video on this channel. You know, I peaked at three videos. <laughs> that was the best. And everything since then, it's just been a downhill spiral. Newer videos have their charm as well, but there was something kind of magical and now nostalgic in thinking back to those early videos. One last thing I'll mention about Seorosari is that it is a great place for bonfires. So you could come here, I know on Midsummer is a big day, but also I think on Easter. I remember coming here and there are lots of kids dressed up as witches and trolls, which is I guess what you do on Easter here in Finland and also I think in Sweden. So that's enough fun facts for today. <laughs> All right guys, I just wanted to show you my home for the time being. This is where I'm staying. It's a traditional Finnish home. And I thought you guys would like to see. It's nice and comfy, cozy. There's lots of space in here. As you can clearly tell, look, and I even have my little hay bale for sitting. Ah, and just hanging out here in my uh, Christmas teepee. Yeah. Oh, this is actually the perfect place to vlog. I should come here. Said I can get like a gaming setup in here, like play some games for you guys. I can live stream. Oh, someone, someone's walking over here. Some, someone just walked up here and then started taking photos with me inside. <laughs> I don't know. I told you this is my home, okay? Guys, don't come and visit me, okay? I need my privacy here in my little Christmas teepee. All right, well, Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this random little jaunt. Is that the word? I have no idea. Thanks for watching this video, and I wanted to ask you guys for some feedback, and click on the little I in the top right corner of the screen, and I have some poll questions to ask you guys more about what you would like to see or how much 
you think the products or services I'm offering are worth. That'll help me better tailor the services to serve you guys. Feel free to pause the video right now and click on those and vote. That really, that really would help me out. And thanks so much for watching the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.